Hello and welcome to 360 GamerCast episode 84 for Tuesday the 17th of August 2021. I'm your host Mark Webb, Gamertag Pearson ID, Steam ID, Webby 360G and joining me on this very fine evening is... I've twisted my ankle so I walk like I shit myself, it's number one stunt master. I have nothing clever to say, it's Kali Wally. Um, I haven't shit myself either, cinema Dan. I only since I switch, I've just taken one. Oh. <laughs> it's nice to hear your dulcet tones colin it's lovely to have you back again um thank Stunty, you very much Stunty, what have you done to your ankle oh uh, camping so uh... it's um yeah i don't really know i just got up funny i had had a couple of beers so it might have something to do with that but i don't know and i'm just in a i, I haven't had a, a fat leg well ankle like you had fat but leg I, yeah, you had a really, I've got you skinny had really legs, man. <laughs> what are you on about? Yeah, but you had a really fat ankle, didn't you? It looked like you had a proper ankle. chubby checker. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. A so, third leg. But it's 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 that bad that I couldn't do the car boot this weekend, and that's wow, serious. That, that is, is serious, mate. Yeah, I was sitting there, woke up, and it was like I could be there now, couldn't I? Could have be clearing up, you know. But instead. <laughs> So, and uh, it, I've been off for two weeks as well. So they're going to love me tomorrow when I ring them up tomorrow and tell them they're not coming in. <laughs> <laughs> so, they're going to be really chuffed with me. But hey ho, what can I do? So, how long did it take for yours? I mean, yours was a lot worse than mine. How long did it take for you to start walking properly? Oh, a couple of weeks. Really? But I really uh, fucked mine like big time. I tore the ligaments in my ankles, um, right. and it was a, uh, and it was a, uh, I, I fractured it as well. So, right. But yeah. there's nothing you can do, is there? Really, they can't. Uh, it's an can't ultra really combo. Do. No, I mean the only thing you can do is sit on the sofa, feet up, mm. and play video games all day, and have a little bell that you can ring to get your missus to bring the sandwich. I oh, know. Do- oh, I have to go around and still do stuff. I'm not, you know, I'm not allowed to just be a complete invalid. Why not? You've got to be well, wearing a hand can... and foot sometimes. Well, yeah, it doesn't work in this house. Anyway, this is Patreon week, so big thank you to all the patrons for making this week's show happy happen. Uh, hello to all the Twitch people out there in Twitch land. Thank you for turning up, Mister Turk Monkey Red Tone Nick Fights. And we've got Stunty and Dan in there and Academy Impossible. Awesome. So he- hello to you. Um, so hello. Stunty's going to go first into what he has been playing this past week. Yes. Um, got a few bits. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, should I start with the Back for Blood beta? Yes. Because yes. I think Tell most of us have been playing yeah. it. Right. Okay. Uh, I played the Back for Blood beta. Um, and... Uh, yeah, yeah, it's good. Um, I don't know to say about it. I don't know if it's as good as what I wanted it to be because <laughs> the thing is, is Left for Dead was something we'd never had before. So it was such a great experience that you had at the time, and you know, where this just it's just the same but slightly different. If you get my meaning, it doesn't. It's not that whole new experience again. So I don't have that whole. Oh wow, this is just awesome. This is the best game ever because I've been there and done it. But it's yeah. But how many years ago? I mean, you you could say that about fucking Call of Duty. It's the same fucking game every year for the last twenty years. You know, or fighting games. Or um, the fighting games. You know, you know, like Left for Dead. You know, there hasn't been a Left 4 Dead for, what, 10 years or so? You know, More so... Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Probably. So, yeah. to be honest, this will be a lot of people's first experience with it. Yeah. Uh, and, yeah. And, and for those of us that are veterans, it's been a long time. So, yeah. I think, you know, just having that, that gameplay loop back is pretty damn awesome. To be oh yeah, there's also that, and the fact being is, it was never Left 4 Dead was never on a PlayStation, so for them it's quite a new experience because the only way you could play Left 4 Dead was on PC or Xbox. Yeah. Um, so, but now I like it. There's a couple of little niggly things that uh, I'm not sure they they have a card system in the game now. Yeah. Yeah. So basically, at the start of the game, before you go into a campaign, you've got a card system and you set up your cards, what you're going to take into the game. Some give you certain things like stamina and yeah, you know, give you 10 percent more stamina. Some give you a if you kill a certain thing, you will get 10 percent of this or whatever. It's um. 
I don't know. It's a bit confusing, really. I'm sort of I'm still trying to work it out, and you don't really do you see a benefit of it. You don't really see it in the game because you just play the game. Um, the one thing I do like about the game is they have a system where um, you have coins in the game. So basically, as you start to play the campaign, go around the map. You've got to get from one one section of the map all the way to the other end of the map. Uh, in between that, you have checkpoints, which is basically safe uh, safe rooms. Yeah. As you, as you play through the game, you find things on the floor. You can find guns, and you can find these coins, these copper coins. The copper coins you can use when you get to a safe house. Uh, they have these chests, and if you open the chest up, it's like a, a shop, and you use the coins to up, level up stuff. So if you pick up certain guns, for me, um, the MP5 was a really good gun um, in the game, if you can find one of them. And then what you can do... Oh, the, and the, my favourite was the Scar. If you find the, that gun in the game, when you've got that gun... When you get to your safe house, you can go into the the shop and you can add stuff like you can add scopes, you can add extra ammo. So it's changed it up a little bit more than what Left 4 Dead did. And it, it's quite good. So, you know, it's got more to recent times, isn't it? So Yeah, well, the one the one thing that that is a big change uh, from the original games to this is that when you start the game, you're, not, you're, you're in a hub world. That's right. Uh, yeah. and, and then you select your missions from there. So there's a bit more of a kind of story ish to it um obviously it's not i mean the the, the beat that i played isn't very story heavy but it seems there's more of a a purpose to it if that makes sense like you've been sent out on missions to collect stuff or whatever um but the main thing for me is i i i had a lot of fun playing this well not this but the Left 4 Dead games in co-op on the Xbox 360 back in the day with all you guys. Mm. And the thing that I've been really looking forward to with this is obviously it is it is a true successor. It's the same dev team that made the games, but they don't have the rights to the original name, which is why they've had to change the name. So it is basically Left 4 Dead 3 and all that name. But um, the, the good thing about this is that it's cross-play, um, so we should be able to get more of the community involved in some gamer nights on this. Obviously, it is only four player, um. So, but but we shouldn't really have any excuses not to get full four player co op sessions going on this when it comes out. I mean, for one, it's on Game Pass, so Xbox and PC users who have Game Pass have got the game as part of the service anyway. Obviously, on PlayStation, you have to purchase it, which is which isn't an issue anyway. But you know, all all the no matter what system you've got. You you can play with your friends on other systems, so 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 there's no excuse really for us not to get some good gaming sessions going on this. Mm. The um, it's very similar to Left 4 Dead, as in the the monsters in it, as in um, yeah. Tell me about those. Yeah, you basically I can't remember the names of the monsters, but basically you've got a creature that looks like a big sort of dinosaur style monster and he's like the big fat thing that you yeah the boom shows up yeah. if you shoot it the boom yeah. yeah that's it yeah. yeah and you shoot it and it just explodes pretty much the same as that the only difference is you've got to shoot it in the belly whereas before if you just shot the boom it was it a boomer was it yeah it was yeah, a boomer yeah, yeah. Got many words yeah, it, was, like it yeah. just it, and it still does the same it chucks a load of bio all over you so it's like you know seen from ghostbusters that sort of thing nice. um what they have got on this now you've got uh, you got another creature that's a bit like the uh, do you know I've forgotten the names I should have looked them up for the left for dead you know the one that climbs on the buildings and it's up high and it sort of throws this spit oh, at you yeah 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 well that what it does it still does th they've got one of them creatures in it and it puts you in like a web and you're stuck and you yeah. literally can't move from that and you have got to try and wriggle yourself out um or kill or get one of your teammates to kill the creature the other thing that they've got in this is they're 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 not they're like the char they're like the charges, but they're slightly different. As in, what they do is they grab you, whereas the charges used to just run at you and just smash you across the map, and then stop um, pounding you up and down on the floor. That's right. Yeah. Well, what these do now is they grab you and just squash you, and Lovely. they yeah. are an absolute ball ache if you get involved in them. Because you can't do anything, you've got to get your teammates to help you. And I had a bit, I had a mission where we were doing it, and we had five of the bloody things. So I don't know <laughs> what was going on on the map. Now we'd already failed the mission the first time anyway, because 
one of the teammates fell down off the off of a, a balcony or whatever and put themselves in a stupid place. Um, so we had to go back, and you know, it's like when you go back, all yeah. hell breaks loose. And next thing you know, is to say, yeah, there's like five of these. So you get rid of one of them, then another one appears, and then another one appears. It was like, Epic. oh my god, yeah. And then it just ended <laughs> up a mess, and we just died. Um, there is supposed to be some other creatures that appear. Um, the other thing that I've not seen is there's no, I haven't seen witches, nothing like that. What they do have is they have birds. So basically, you will go across the map. And you'll have birds that sit on like a ledge somewhere or in a certain path. If you disturb the birds, I you don't have to shoot them. If you just walk past them a bit too close, they will then fly up in the air. Then you will get a hoarding. Yeah, gotcha. So that's what happens. So, so that's what that's what Webby was doing. Yeah. No, so so there's actually <laughs> uh, certain. So you when you're playing the missions, there 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 can be certain kind of achievements to get. Uh, which are you know don't disturb any birds throughout the mission and there can be some uh, other ones as well for you to do um so you get bonus a, copper that's yep. it it gives yeah. you yeah it's the bonuses yeah that's what i was trying to look for so so it's actually worth worth being quite sneaky and that um yeah uh i mean i think it's cool i think the selection of characters is pretty cool as well they, they all have their own kind of abilities which is awesome uh, and you can rank them up separately, um, yeah, yeah, you know. So, I mean, I haven't played it loads because I wanted to wait for the full game. But I have been, I had, I have just just tried it out a few times and tried the versus multiplayer as well, which I'm not really super super into. I've yeah, I've heard a lot of people moan about that because obviously, back in the day, with obviously the original games, when you yeah. did the versus multiplayer, it was the entire campaign. You could just play yeah. as the infected or the survivors. Whereas I've heard this is just like specific little maps. Yeah. It's right. specific areas. Yeah. And that's, that is correct. And it's just waves. So, so whichever team survives the most waves or the most time. <clears throat> so, so you'll swap over from playing the humans to the monsters and vice versa. And whoever survives the longest is the winner. That's all it is. Mm-hmm. It's not that yeah. great. It, it, it's all about the campaign co-op, to be honest. Yeah, it, it's good though. I am enjoying it. It doesn't feel anything new to me because I've been there and done it. But to a lot of people that have never played Left 4 Dead, then they're going to probably enjoy it. It's it, going to be it's going to be frustrating when you've got the missions where you're trying to get the chivos or the trophies because you've got ones where you've got to try and get through the map and you've got to make sure you don't heal yourself and you always get some fucking oh, arsehole come up behind hell. you and heal you. Yeah, so you need to make sure you're playing with teammates. The only thing I did come across was the bots can't shoot for shit. No, yeah. they're constantly shooting us like yeah. when I was just playing it. Yeah, so you need to play with people, man. You have yeah. to. And then the other thing as well as you get is if you play it with randoms, they're fucking stupid randoms because they don't know where to shoot. They don't realise that. And they walk right in front of you like, why have you just walked in front of me again? It's That's like, because you need to... that communication. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah the original Left 4 Dead had that as well. There was always yeah. going to be like like noobs is running off into the into the wild, or you get yeah. screamed at by some the, the precocious child because you're not <laughs> doing the game they they intend you, you know, they want you to play, and it's like fuck off, kid. You you know what but, I hope they do have in this. Uh, yeah, you you remember in Left 4 Dead there was that level we had to get the gnome from the beginning to the oh, end. Yeah. yeah. Well, I, I got that achievement again. Awesome. Chomsky it was, wasn't yeah. it? That was the <laughs> there G-Mo. was a similar thing in this that I thought was going to be in it where where there's, there was a bonus to obviously picking up a certain object and carrying it all the way through the level to the safe house. But when you're carrying it, you're just literally, you're not actually just carrying it and yeah, so, not being yeah, like I, a wielder gun or anything. It's just a canister you just chuck on your back or whatever. That's oh, right. Yeah, I did okay. that. I did that last night. I think it well, was yesterday afternoon. I did that. Yeah, you didn't actually with the gnome. You literally had to hold the gnome. That was it. You couldn't shoot or do anything, could you? Yeah. You, no, you just you could just wield it as a weapon, couldn't you? And try and yeah. punt people away from you with it and mm-hmm. stuff. Um, but yeah, I was I was on it Friday night. Uh, did a lot of did some co-op with uh, my mate Goose and Coopstar. Um, we got sort of like pretty far and we had a random guy with us as well. Got all the way through. I really enjoy the first three levels. That's all I'm going to say with that is the last level shit hits the fucking fan <laughs> and it sort of turns from a kind of like, cause it's a lot, um, 
not as hectic as the original Left 4 Dead, I find, for some of them early maps. Yeah, oh, I did. they've toned you it can down. Kind of ex- you can explore and actually look for stuff and find bonuses and things like that. Where And, and then you get to the last level and it's like everything but the kitchen sink. We're mm. not going to tell you where you're going, what you've got to do. So you're running around headless, like getting absolutely cornered everywhere you go because you've got no idea what you're supposed to be doing. Um, we we got absolutely destroyed. <laughs> then my mate Goose jumped out, and then I was like, right, we'll try again. You know what I mean? We went in and we put, put bought out because um, you can obviously buy buffs for like extra damage and stuff yeah. like that. They're like one thousand five hundred copper, so they're like quite hefty. We didn't yeah. even make it to the other side of the bridge wow. on that run. It was literally like special infected, special infected, special infected, special infected, special infected, constantly, just non-fucking stop. And it wasn't like that at all, like when we did the first run, when there was more of us in there. It's mm. like, ah? So it is just random. Yeah, it is. Uh, uh, thing. Yeah, and it did feel pretty guys. unfair yeah. when it was like that. I was like... This is stupid because, like, you've got an exploder, then you've got a, one of them grabbers, and then someone gets grabbed by that. And then, as someone's going over to do that, they get shot to the floor with the sticky guy, and then another exploder mm-hmm. turns up, and then you see two more grabbers bowling up, and you just think, pointless. Well, well I think they've still got some tweaking to do right. because yeah. when I played the Alpha, I played that quite a bit, and that was just mega fucking hard, even from the first stage. Right. Um, so they've certainly toned down the difficulty for the beta, uh, but it, but there's certainly some still some teething problems just um, with the amount of enemy spawns and stuff by the sounds of it on 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 certain missions there, Darren. Because like I said to someone, yeah. yeah, like we we were playing it, like you get the horde stuff, that's fine, fend them off and all that sort of stuff, no, no issues. But that almost felt like someone had gone from two to eleven, like yeah. straight away in one level. I'm like, what the hell? There wasn't yeah. a gradual thing; it just jumped immensely. Yeah, yeah. And the like you crazy. end up with special infected, like taking up doorways and that, so you can't even get through into the areas you want to get yeah. to and stuff. Like it's going to be fun, don't get me wrong, but things like that will annoy if it persists a lot of the time. Yeah. The the other thing I came across as well, uh, which they probably will fix at some point, is I noticed that I went into a quick game. And I spawned, and I was in the safe house, and it was like, oh, no one's here. They've all gone forward in the map. So I come out of the safe house and try and had to try and catch up with them all. Now, that was always a bad move in Left 4 Dead. You can never leave your teammates behind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But no, no enemies at all. It was oh. just empty, empty level until I got to up to where. Yeah, they, they, you do clear the way from the, the from the front to the back. So yeah, you aren't going to be running around on your own at the back and all of a sudden get pinned by a mm. lurker or something. But that was always the one thing with Left 4 Dead. You always made sure you didn't go too far ahead from your teammates because you got screwed in that way, or yeah. you didn't let yourself get too far behind because otherwise you get you get you get one of those sneaky things that comes up and grabs you and the rest of it or whatever. Yeah, yeah. So that was quite the, the kept it the, the 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 tension, so you know. But no, it's good. I mean, the, you'll probably play it, Colin. Wouldn't you? I mean, you're getting it, you've got Game Pass anyway, so you'll play it free anyway. Yep, I'll get it. I'll I'll squad up with you boys and mm, kill nice. some zombies. Awesome. When's the um, release date again? October, oh. isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I think it is October. Yeah. Like the tenth or twelfth or somewhere around okay. then. I think my only concerns with it are the fact that. Currently, the game is on, only on always online. It literally only runs on servers. Yep. You cannot play the game offline whatsoever, which is a bit worrying. Like I don't understand why they've done it like that, considering this is the same team that made Evolve, well, which was... is now a game that I think is no longer playable in any Yeah, form. that was a fucking shite one out, which is a shame because I was really looking forward to that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, I've got no issues with like keeping it always online to a degree, but then when they've stopped supporting it and doing like updates for it and things like that, uh, they can then patch it to make it playable offline. So if the servers do go down, you still keep keep the game. Yeah, and I still have access to it. Yeah, yeah. So the release date for this is the twelfth of October. Just just uh, cool. FYI. So yeah. Mm. I did. I did notice it had a few little glitchy problems, as in, you know, one minute you you shoot one zombie and there was a zombie to the right and it just fell down dead. It was like, oh, right, okay, I got special bullets. 
you know, it was like, and it was just sort of like the usual, it's an online only game. So you'll get the, you know, a few little glitches here and there. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. And connecting to server files and things like that. Uh, I didn't also, know. I will say, make sure you've got your voice settings sorted out properly. Because otherwise, even, even though you're in a party, like I might be in party chat with you guys. Um, if I'm in the game, I still come out of the game. Oh, okay. So well, yeah. Happen on console. So, so there is there is an option I think hidden away in the settings, like where you're setting up your games and stuff, where you can choose like voice on, off, or always on, or whatever it is. Yeah. Just make okay. sure that's switched off. Otherwise, you might be hurling some abuse and some random person's lot sitting there with their hair turning white. <laughs> Wondering who the fuck they're playing with at the time. I was pre warned for that by Coops, though. He was like, I'll oh, make right. sure you uh, try and suss out how to turn your voice off. Because <laughs> it was definitely working like that, because um, my mate's mic's really sensitive. So we was all echoing, like when we were speaking, because it was coming out of his TV speakers. Uh, it was being picked okay. up through the mic, because it was coming out through the game chat, even though we were in a private party chat. Odd. Wow. Mm. That's something to look forward to. Mm. Uh, right. Uh, next game, yeah? Yeah. 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 Go for it. Rightio. Okay. Uh, right. I'll, I'll, I'll save the next one, which is one that you all will know about until the next one. Until I'll, I'll say about this. One. Right. I played um, Olympic Games Tokyo 2020. Woohoo! Which has just been. <laughs> I'd say you're more excited than we are. Yeah, um, well, I really enjoy the Olympics this year. Um, anyway, so, and then PlayStation gave us a free Olympics Games Tokyo 2020 on PS Now, uh, which is a brand new game that came out. Woohoo, one new is game. It? Is it? A lot of the videos nice. I'm looking at are like two years old. <laughs> yeah. no, so they, they released it and they went, oh, pandemic, shit. Mm, yeah. So, so now yeah, basically you've got... You've got a game, and then a game. You've got a dead game on arrival, and no one to fucking play it. Yeah. So it came on PS now, and yeah, it was all right actually. I quite enjoyed it. Um, some of the you've got loads of different games, as in you've got the running, swimming, BMXing, boxing, stuff like that. I haven't played a sort of like a track and field sort of game for quite a while, and yeah, this isn't bad actually. It's quite good. Some of it is quite hard, though, and also I've noticed the difficulty level can be a real bitch in this game, as in you have to qualify, then you get to the semi-final, then you get to the final. So what does it do? Oh, you can qualify. Oh, we'll make it really nice and easy. When we get to the semi, nah, we'll fuck you in the arse. You know, it's that, <laughs> that sort of thing. <laughs> um, fuck you in the arse with a semi? Yeah, that's right. Okay. So... Um, it's like the BMX in. It's like I did the BMX in, did the qual- uh, qualifying, got through that. Brilliant, lovely. Says I was top of the table. No, when it comes to the semi final, it was all right. I got through. It was quite hard. Got to the final. No, nah, no chance. Came last because everyone comes out with their fancy moves that makes them go super speed. You know, yeah. That's that's the only thing with the game. It's got a few of the modes that are, you know. Just a pain in the ass. Baseball. I tried the baseball because I know you played baseball. Is that uh, an Olympic sport? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, Olympic, and, uh, yeah America, Japan yeah, beat America, didn't they? Yeah. 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 I watched that. That was Japan quite interesting. Japan loved their baseball. Yeah, yeah I know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I didn't realise that, and it was like um. And America. Uh, so America's suffering from our classic, where they introduce someone to a sport and then they just beat them at it. Yeah. We did that with cricket. <laughs> yeah, well, we've done it with lots of sports, haven't we? Um, but yeah, I played the baseball. That was hard, really hard. You've got to get your time and spot on to hit the ball. Um, it was, I was okay at, is it throwing the ball? Is that what they call it? Is it Pitching. Throwing? bowling? Bowl. Pitching. No, Pitching. Oh, get it right. right. <laughs> I'm thinking the cricket. So. You're thinking of rounders. <laughs> rounders. For yeah. fuck's sake. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> got wine webby up here, right? And um, yeah, that's great. So, what when I'm hitting the ball, what am I doing? Is it is batting? It just, is it batting, is it right? Okay, so um, and it was like, yeah, so I was doing the game, it was nil nil all the way through. And what does he do last last round because it goes to 10, I think it was. 
And the last round, what does they do? Oh, he scores one that goes out. It's a home run. So what I'm noticing one. about, um, I'm watching a video on YouTube, like there's some really dodgy outfits that you can put your character in. Yeah. It's just okay. not very Olympics at all, is it? No. There's a dude it's playing not... baseball in his Is it more dead or alive? <laughs> no. It's not... I, he must have changed his outfit. I know you can go into the set and change outfits, but I didn't run around with my bloke wearing one of those. That looks like the things that you wear, those um, those big uh, big people in Japan that do the... Um, sumo wrestling. Uh, sumo wrestling. It looks like yeah. that outfit, doesn't it? Uh, I like yeah. it. Yeah. Um, not a unitard, then. No, uh, no. I don't know what it is, but um, it's made by Sega. Um and it's got a bit of a. I do get the, the, the. It reminds me of a game that was. It looks like it could have been released on Nintendo Switch. Originally. It looks like a very old arcadey type game, doesn't it? Yeah, it's um, but it's good in in certain bits. I mean, as I say, the baseball. I really struggled with the baseball. I, I hit the ball once, and that was it. That was how hard it was. Uh, but it was. Let him have it, Webby. <laughs> no, that's all. Right. Yeah, yeah. Um, but it was um. Yeah, it was. It was. You know, it's, it's not a bad game. If you get, it, if you can pick it up cheap and you like your Olympic stuff, then you'll probably enjoy it. I'm just trying to rinse it for as many trophies as I can get now, because you get a trophy for every game, everything you play, every sport. Uh, I have got a few golds and a few of the. They're not uh, gambling in it. Yes. Yeah, oh. it's got it's got eighteen. I think there's eighteen sports in it. Uh, there's javelin. There's long jump. Um, I'm watching the uh, volleyball, and there's uh, there's a character dressed up in a Sonic costume. Yeah, someone's changed all the outfits. That's not how it comes the game. Um, Have you got dressage in it as an event? No, no, you haven't got. No, there's no horse horse um, you know, riding or whatever in it. Um, the table tennis that was too hard. I just couldn't. Every time I try to do well on table tennis, he just comes up with his power move and just rinses me. Uh, not like yeah. Rockstar's table tennis. Remember that? Yeah. Oh, that's fucking awesome. That yeah. Was. But, um, I mean, the one I did enjoy, which was really bizarre, was the Rugby Sevens. Oh, okay. Bizarre. Yeah, I've never, I've never played or I'm not really a rugby fan, but I really enjoyed that. It was really good. And I won as well, so okay. that made it more entertaining. Uh, the football was quite good as well. They had that, so it's one of those that if it if it picks up cheap, I'd pick it up if you quite like your sports games. So oh. you know, I was actually more, I, I was more impressed with it than I thought I was going to be. You know, because it was like I, I kept going back to it. Normally you play it once, oh this is crap, and just forget about it. So, but no, I've done quite a bit of it now. I've done nineteen percent progress, so I've done quite a bit on it. Nice. So, um, right, what else have I played? And oh, uh, Zelda Skyward mm -hmm. Sword, still playing that. I'm at the volcano level, halfway through the volcano level at the moment, which is the second oh, section. Yeah. Um, cool. about seven or eight hours in now, I think it is. Yeah. Um, got stuck on a couple of puzzles. A couple of puzzles messed me up because um, I was just stupid. <laughs> Couldn't work the puzzle out. <laughs> And then the other thing as well... Was is it, does it involve rolling something? Yes. <laughs> yeah, I got caught on the roll in a bomb. Yeah. And then also got caught on rolling the bomb into a hole to kill gotcha. certain things. And that fucked me up because I didn't know how to do it for ages. And then I ended up looking on YouTube. Oh, dear. Um, and I've done that and I've got through that and I'm on to another section now just after that. But, yeah, I'm enjoying it. It's, for me, I'm enjoying it because it's something different. It's just yeah. the controls let it down for me, which is a bit of a shame. Um, and you have to put your brain on and say, right, okay, I've got to do this, I've got to do that. And you've got, you've got to think what you're doing, whereas with most games, you just do it automatically. This, you can't. You've literally got to you know, think what you're doing. Um, I like it. I really do. It's, um, I might actually try and see if I can finish the Zelda game, because I've never finished one ever. you never finished one? Oh, no. What? No, never you ever finished You call yourself a gamer. Yeah, never ever finish the Zelda game. Always oh, get hot into and then my goodness. And then I always get um I either get bored or I get stuck or it's too hard. I uh, I am <laughs> I'm actually uh I'm quite surprised at that to be honest. Yeah, well I'm gonna try and see if I can change that. So um so yeah, continuing on with my Nintendo Switch. 
I started Hades, which I know is coming on. Well, it's out on Game Pass. It's on Game Pass as well, I think. Yeah, it is, yeah, it is out on Game Pass, yeah. Any and good? I like it. Um, I like it, but has it got long-term appeal? Uh, I don't know. Uh, it's a roguelike game, so it's one of those where you've got to put the time into it. Uh, what I've played of it so far, I think I've played a couple of hours, something like that. I am enjoying it, but it's one of those where you've got to repeat, 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 repeat. It's like starting Groundhog Day every day, but you get a little bit further. A bit like a Dark Souls game, you know, that sort of thing, but a little bit slightly different. The, the, the worlds aren't as immersive as Dark Souls. Um, am I going to keep with it for a long time? Mm, I don't know. <sighs> Other people will love it um, because it's that style game. It's a Diablo style game, but a rogue this time instead of Diablo, which is just go through. Uh, I know you enjoyed it, Dan, didn't you? Yes, yes. Yeah. I, I mean, I think it's excellent. I need to get back into it, to be honest with you. Um, I, I, what I will say is that the early days, it, it, it's fairly repetitive, but at some point, that this kind of the story evolves. Mm. Uh, and so extra areas start opening up or, or get added into the random generated levels mm. um, and then I suppose every single time you get a bit further you get a bit further and then you finish various levels and, and it becomes a lot easier versus power ups mm. there's also a god mode in there um, From I haven't switched that on previously and what that basically does um, it, it helps, it basically powers you up gradually um, automatically as you eek through the level so it should become easier and get you to the end so if you want to do that um by all means do it um, you are, but you don't get achievements doing that though do you well i play playing on switch so yeah, yeah, a... <coughs> okay. switch. yeah so so i actually um tried this this week as well played it for about an hour and it's not not a, it's not my type of game to be honest with you mm. and, you know and i know everyone enjoys different games that's what makes gaming great and you know everyone likes different things right but man i don't know and i was playing this i was thinking i can't believe people had this as a game of the year last year i mean it looks nice the graphical art style look nice and the dev team you know they, they have made some great games in the past but it's you know people are comparing this to returnal and i don't understand why Dude, because you played because, it for an hour yeah but <laughs> my, it's just like I was literally just playing, you know, getting through a couple of stages, dying, rinse and repeat, 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 repeat. And oh, I don't know. I, I, it's just I, I think it's just one. It's just I'm not really in the mood for these type of games at the moment, to be honest. Roguelikes, right? Yeah. Like, yeah. What yeah, are some other yeah. roguelikes that are good? Uh, what was that uh, one? Enter the Gungeon. Isn't Hades. It? Was it, That's what we're talking the... about. <laughs> yeah, Enter the yeah, Gungeon. Enter the gungeon. And, what, and what was one of the early ones where you're a knight and the then when you of die? A shovel knight. Yeah. No, there, there was another one where like you were like a knight, and every time you died, it would be like one of your ancestors, and they'd have like Rogue, Rogue. Dark Souls, Rogue, Rogue Legacy. Rogue might Legacy. be Rogue Legacy. Something yeah, like that. Might yeah, be, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but Point no, of Isaac as well was huge, yeah. right? and that was one that's just completely random every time you play it. I think. But but look, the only thing like I, this should not be compared to Diablo at all, and I know lots of people are comparing it to Diablo. And the only similarity between this and Diablo is the isometric viewpoint. Yeah, right. yeah, Everything else right. is completely uh, the opposite to Diablo. I mean, if I had, if I had two games to choose to play for the rest of my life. And it was Diablo or this, it'd be Diablo every single mm. fucking day of the week. Um, I mm. do need to put more time into it. Uh, a lot of people on the Discord have said to me, give it some time, as Dan just said as well, because apparently it does pick up, but it's just kind of getting to that point, if that makes sense. Me, my initial impressions are boring as fuck, um, mm. but I do want to play it's, it a bit more. It's, it's, it's one of those games that you've got to give it time, and that's the problem with you, Webby, is you don't have time because you want to play every everything else. Well, no, uh, I mean, I'll get into what I've been playing later, but, I, you know, I'm kind of balls deep into a couple of games at the moment, and it's just kind of, this is another game you need to sink time into, so I was kind of looking mm. for someone I could just dip into for like an hour at a time or whatever, and this doesn't seem to be that type mm. of game, you know, which is the, a, the, a shame. I, I quite enjoyed Hades for me, because when I was away, 
because yeah. I went away <coughs> camp, when I went camping, and it's perfect on the handheld. I don't really play my Switch handheld. It's always on the docking station, plugged on the telly. But going away, Hades was perfect because I could just use it with the thumbsticks. I didn't have to use a pro controller. That's yeah. what I normally use anyway. Whereas stuff like Zelda, you know, Skyward Swords, I don't really want to play that on a small screen. I want to play it on a big screen to get the immersion of the game. Yeah. Yeah. Um, where Hades is the perfect game for the handhelds, you know, because it's, you know, it just sits perfect in it. It looks lovely. Um, so that was why I got it anyway. Well, I, I got it for free anyway because I got to, I had some vouchers from CX to use. So, so someone had traded it in. So that was that was handy for me. Um, but no, it's all right. I mean, it's um, yeah, in the game it's different for me at all. But it's I quite enjoy it. I like the art style. Um, the characters, you know, the, the voice actors are quite cool in it. Um, yeah, it's a good game. Um, it's going to be a Marmite game, though, for a lot of people. Yeah, people yeah. Might, might like it. If you've got Xbox Game Pass, then, yeah, you've got it to try it for free, haven't you, really? So it's no no DOS, is it, really? Uh, uh, um, that's it for me. Cool. So before we move on to what Colin's been playing, I would just like to, again, thank all the patrons for making this week's show happen. If you're not a Patreon, this is the end of the show for you for this week. If you want to join the Patreon, all you got to do is visit patreon.com forward slash 360 gamercast There, from as little as £5 a month, you get a show every single week of the year, plus all the special episodes like the up and coming music special, which is going to be a Patreon exclusive, I now have decided and also the up and coming which we still need to decide a date on as well the conspiracy theory episode as well so we've got a lot of stuff coming um so watch out for those so thank you very much (laughs) 